Well, hello and welcome back. Today we have a Host Mammoth. It is a 2022, uh, it was made in June, fresh arrival. It is being picked up. Again, these things are a number of months out, if not a year from most places. Um, does have exterior speakers. Uh, water heater right here, looks like it's the Aquago, the Truma. I would say we have the reflective windows here because they got that gray look to them. And then uh, kind of zipping around, it does have a slide out topper up there. They are still using uh, an awning that covers over the top of it. Flip out jack brackets, of course. Gravity water fill is hanging out right here. I'm gonna back up and just kind of get an overview of it. I see a wine guard uh, floating around on the rooftop there. And then you've got your bedroom uh, vent kind of zipping around it. You got your extra slide out over here. Everyone always asks where these seven ways come out. It comes out there, it's designed to plug in bed. It is not designed to go down and around all the way to your, your uh, truck hitch area. This one just has uh, the larger area in here, no generator. Pretty straightforward. Outdoor shower, jack activations, all that good stuff. And then uh, I'll close this bad boy up. Uh, kind of coming around here. This is where you got the battery. Of course, you can see it's hanging out in here. And this is how the drawer pulls out with the slide out. So you can kind of see what you're up against. Uh, wait for the camera to zip around. This is what the underbelly looks like. You got all your mechanicals down there. Um, LED lights, of course. And this area is heated and all that good stuff. Pretty straightforward. Slam baggage latches. This one has a rear view camera, the ladder to get up top. And then, of course, propane is uh, hanging out over here. Wasn't planning on going in, but let's do it. Looks like we got two tanks hanging out in here. I would uh, say they look like 30 pounders. All right, <coughs> this one's pretty low, so stairs are not pulled out all the way. They do come with a control panel to raise, lower, all together in pieces, all that good stuff. Battery disconnects right here. When this thing's closed up, you're really not getting into it. So I don't typically do the videos like that, but walking in, Got the big table. This one has the couch. Nice roller shades. There are uh, day shades there as well. Um, the light really plays with the camera, so I'm not going to utilize those here for this purpose. Nice little uh, couch back here. And then down below, nice deep drawer. So no wasted space. As long as we're down here, you do have a little cubby down here as well they kind of do their best job to get everything rocking and rolling if I was to uh, half pivot this you can kind of see there's a lot of uh, mechanicals heat looks like there's a water tank all that kind of cool stuff down there all right television and fireplace is straight on stereo is hanging out in here This one does have the uh, newer AC on it, it looks like. This is new. I don't think I've ever seen a Roku television in here. So they must have uh, switched to that. Uh, backing up a little bit, this is this new uh, Polaris 3400. So way more efficient, much better than the last uh, system they used to use. Uh, that being said, there is storage over here, of course. Flip up countertop, all same wood color and all that good stuff. Your Truma controller, under storage, a little bit of blocked off for what we're doing here. Got your wireless camera screen in here, owner's manual, some odds and ends. And again, real, real nice. This looks like it's the fireplace uh, controller. I'm actually going to bring that out. This one's going today, so I want to make sure they know you can mount this controller into that and put it wherever you want. 
This is the Thetford stove. It's flush. It's got this glass cover top. You do not get an oven with it, but most people will opt for a convection in here. So, pretty nice. It looks like they updated this uh, this micro as well. Oh, I should say convection, but it looks updated. It's new. I have not seen that one yet. Again, a little badge in there tells you what it is. Looks like we're rocking a gas electric fridge. Pretty straightforward. Everyone uh, likely knows what those look like by now. You do get some hanging in here. And then uh, two drawers down here. So pretty deep extension. Um, this is all uh, more or less the same as it's always been. Multiple shelves, adjustable heights, all that good stuff. So pretty straight forward. You do have your connected TVs. That's for inverted television right there. Right up here looks like we've got our inverter controller, satellite switch. And then uh, this one does have the king option with the side wardrobe. And I apologize, I don't have my light on my video camera right now. But if you look in here, there's hanging kind of all the way through and you've got the tail end uh, shelves. Looking forward, you do have 110 and uh, both USB and uh, 12 volt plugs over there. There's your skylight, you can block it off or on the other side there is a screen, nice LED light strip. TV prep is hanging in here. And then of course you do have the shelf above the bed along with the reading lamps. All right, sneaking backwards. I suppose I should point this out. Basement circulation fan. If you guys are getting into some colder temperatures, you need to make sure your basement's not freezing up. You can uh, turn that on and you'll have some venting here that will suck air and move everything around so nothing freezes up on you. Of course, your classic John up top, porcelain. We're not using cheap, crummy plastic. Towel holders, again, an LED light strip. I'm quite fond of those. They do a good job in these. Nice countertop, backsplash. TP holders hanging out in here. Some room down there. This one does have this uh, sliding accordion door, which is, again, fan favorite. Nice big shower, decent shower head. It's get a little warm in here, it's like 85. I'm about six foot tall, so you can kind of see I go just down to the, got some room here, plus then you've got this whole head height thing. And I suppose if we're gonna do the, to this, yeah, I'm probably wiggling it up and hopefully I can make this work. There we go, now I can properly shower. So it does work for taller people as well. As uh, you guys all know, if you're much over six foot, most campers are gonna be small, especially a truck camper that is uh, only got so much space to begin with. So pretty straightforward there. They do have the pocket door in. I'm gonna bring this back. And then uh, just kind of do an overview. I mean, pretty nice, tight, clean unit. You do have a dimmer switch right up here. I should point this out. You can slide it down. Kind of go with whatever lighting mood you want. But yeah, for a truck camper, incredible amounts of room. As always, questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. I'm here to help out. No matter what uh, you need, just shoot me an email down below. Again, my uh, comment section on the videos, I don't typically monitor too much. So, email's the best. Thanks, have a good day.